Hi all, I am Paul Borowski with Tutor for Finance and today we are covering how to calculate the future value. In this example, we are going to use a value of $1,000, which we have today. We are going to invest that $1,000 at an 8% interest rate and we're going to continue to invest it for six years. The formula for the future value is future value is equal to, we use initials F of V for future value, is equal to PV, which is our present value. We're going to multiply that by 1 plus R, which is our interest rate of 8%, and then we're going to raise this to 6, our N, which is our number of years. Once we have this formula set up, now we start to substitute. We don't know what the future value is, so we're going to drop it. Our present value is our $1,000. So we substitute our $1,000 in per present value. Next, we drop our multiplication sign, open up our parenthesis, drop our 1, drop our addition sign. Now we substitute R, which is our interest rate of 8%. We have it as a percent. We're going to flip that to a decimal. Close our parenthesis up. Now we substitute our N. N is time. How many years do we, are we going to do this for? It's six years. We're going to raise that to the six. Next, again, we still don't know what our present value is, so we're going to drop PFV. Sorry, we don't know what our future value is. Then, we're going to start doing our orders of operation. Orders of operation tells us we need to start inside our parentheses. No parentheses. We drop the thousand. Drop the multiplication. Then we do it inside our parentheses. 1 plus 0 0.08 is 1.08. And then we drop to 6. Next, for our order of operation, is we're going to raise 1.08 to the 6th power. When we do that, we're going to get 1.5869. Again, drop the future value, drop the thousand, drop your multiplication sign. Now we raise it 1.08 to the 6th power is 1.5869. Once we have this, now again we're going to do our order of operation. Drop the future value. 1,000 times 1.5869. One thousand times one point five eight six nine gives us one thousand five hundred and eighty six dollars and seventy four cents. So what this means to us is if we invest a thousand dollars today at an interest rate of eight percent, compound it annually for six years, we are gonna have at the end of six years one thousand five hundred and eighty six dollars and seventy four cents. And 